may the Lord bless and keep you. Maybe three or four years ago, when I started to take God in a much more serious way, a particular thought was coming to me more and more, Kevin, you may or will have to die for God. As in dying for your faith or for being a Christian. And I was thinking, <laughs> I really don't like pain. I don't like to suffer. And I was thinking about the different ways that I may have to die for God. And at first, I thought that whatever that thought was, that I have to die for God, I thought that it was a demonic thought at that time period. But as time progresses, I see that I don't think it really is. I was doing research and hearing more about becoming a martyr, a person who dies for God. And I am learning about the different ways that people have died for God. I believe it is the prophet Isaiah and I may be wrong about this but I believe that he was cut in half while he was alive and I was thinking can I withstand being cut in half if someone came to me, Kevin, are you a Christian? Of course, I am not going to say no. I am going to say yes. And I was thinking how crazy it would be to be cut in half. Insane. And learning that Christians were being fed to lions, being tortured and all this stuff here. And I was thinking, that is insane. <sighs> My Lord, there is going to be a point of time where If you claim to be Christian, you are going to be persecuted much more than what you are now. And what you have to ask yourself, will you deny God? Think about this. Say if someone like some Muslims or whatever else, groups up some Christians and they have guns around you all and they ask you all if you are Christian. What if you say no? For some people, they may say no, but what if they kill you anyway. So let's say that some bad people groups up some Christians or whatever else and they ask you all, are you Christian? And you see that they are killing the Christians when they claim to be Christian. 
So you believe that, hey, I don't want to die, so let me say that I don't believe in God. But what if they kill you anyway? So you deny God, then you die then you have to stand before God after denying him. How crazy would that be? How crazy would it be to go to hell? Because if you deny God and say that you aren't Christian, even when you do believe in God, even when you were serving God, if you deny God, that is a sin. I believe some people don't understand that. Let's say that I serve God all day long. And when a bad person comes to me and say, Kevin, if you are a Christian, I am going to kill you. So are you a Christian? And let's say that I am dumb enough, really dumb, to say, hey, <laughs> I am not a Christian. Let's say that person kills me anyway, my Lord. Ugh. Even though, let's say I have been serving God for 20 years and I deny God that one time. That is a sin. Don't you know that with that five seconds of saying that I don't know God or I am not a Christian, that wipes away the 20 years of serving God. Man, please listen to what I am saying. It may get to the point where if you claim to be a Christian, you are going to be persecuted and perhaps killed. So what I am saying to you, mentally prepare yourself for that. I know that many of us don't want to be tortured or tormented or killed. It may happen. And you have to know that if you deny God, then die without repenting, you are not going to heaven. You are not. No matter, even if you healed 50 people, even if you preached 1 million hours, even if you did so much for God, if you deny God, then get killed without repenting. All those things that you did for God is not going to matter for you because it is not going to get you into heaven because denying God, denying God, denying God is a sin. So mentally prepare yourself to go through bad things as a Christian. I know for myself, I am not going to de deny God, but at the same time, I don't want to be tortured. I don't. Why? <laughs> I don't want to be killed, but hey, what other choice do I have when that time comes? Because yes, I may feel pain, while they do whatever to me on this earth. But imagine the pain that you are going to feel when you go to hell. They can only torture you so much on this earth. But if you go to hell, that is forever. If you go to the lake of fire, that is forever. So if I have a choice between being tortured on earth or in hell, hey, 
let it be done on earth, which I don't want to be tortured. I really don't. But I'd rather have it on earth than in hell. I pray that this makes sense. So denying God is a sin. Even if you have your fingers crossed, even if you are lying, when you deny him, that is a sin. So mentally prepare yourself for persecution on the Christians. I am telling you. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.